Mine so the window doesn't show. Why don't you just close the blinds? Well, I can do that too, but this gives you a more solid. Did you draw black lines on it? No. It's on the stand right there. You gotta move the stand. What's the stand? The little silver thing. You set it down on top of it. What is this? It's a cell phone holder. So I for what? It. I put my cell phone in it when I'm watching YouTube videos. Oh, okay. So what should I watch while I craft? I don't know. Whatever you want. Okay. My blocker's not very blocky. Yeah. It's not very level. Oh, it was sitting on something. It's sitting on this. Okay. Great. It's, it's a teardrop. It's a booger. Okay. All right. YouTube. You're gonna watch YouTube. Oh, you're recording right now. You're kind of far. Can I bring it in a little bit? You're the camera person. All right. It's just a little out there. You're out there. Thanks. Okay. Heat gun. I need the heat gun. What's wrong with me? You're watching my videos? If we're advertising, it's self promo. But that's going to be noisy in the background. Okay, I'll turn off the sound and get the closed caption. Okay. How do you do that? I don't know. Um, I can't read it while I craft though. Practice reading lips. Okay, what is this? I don't know. I thought maybe you'd want to decorate it. Oh, okay. It's like table decor. Is this good? Yeah. That's bright. And my eyeballs. It's hard to stand like well, this. Well, you're backlit if I don't do it like that. Here, I can put it on your face over here. Here you go. Okay, you're good. Kept rolling. Or whatever <laughs> they say. <laughs> What's up, New Zealand and Peru? Because uh, we did darkest Peru last time, so we have to do regular Peru. Um, Equatorial Guinea. Uh... Montenegro and the Vatican, which isn't a country, but we'll call it out anyway. All right, as promised, I have had many requests for craft. I want to show that I can craft just as well as Courtney can. Why are you smiling? I'm not. You're not supposed to talk to the camera person. The camera person's not supposed to make faces. I'm not making faces. <laughs> This is a Dollar Tree DIY, because Courtney does Dollar Tree DIYs. She opened the package up and tried to set everything up for me, but it doesn't work like that, because first got to do an unboxing or a haul. This is a Dollar Tree haul, except it's not very heavy, so we didn't really have to haul it anywhere. Normally when you haul something, you have a trailer. This did not come... Keep going. <laughs> what? <laughs> Keep talking. Don't worry about me. We did not haul this home in a trailer, but it is from Dollar Tree. I don't know how much it cost, but it was not expensive. It was a dollar. Is everything at Dollar Tree a dollar? Unless, yes, unless you have one of those Dollar Trees that has, I can't, Dollar Tree Plus. They've started selling things for three and five dollars, I think. But we don't have Dollar Tree Pluses here, so we don't have to worry about it. Do they ever have half off sales? Everything's 50 cents? No, but the cards are. 50 so cents. it's a fall inspired craft. This We're going to start with this because just like Courtney, we don't just use everything as is. But we're going to do something super cool with this today. Our fall inspired craft. So when you open it up, which would be much harder except that Courtney did it already. It comes with its own painting stand. So that... You don't have to lay it down flat because it would get in the way of stuff. So we'll set that up. And then this artistic canvas. Um, I did not draw this myself. This came drawn onto it, but we're going to do something with that in a minute. And that goes on your painting stand. And then a brush. And this one is special because it's wide when you turn it this way, but it's narrow when you turn it the other way. So you can do thin stripes or wide stripes with it, depending on which way you turn it. It's like an advanced tool. Mm. Don't, I mean, that's like 
If you're a new crafter, if you're just watching crafting for the first time and trying to do this, don't get one of those. Get one of each, a narrow one and a wide one, because it's too difficult. And then we have some colors here, which the orange I get and the brown I get. Bright green is not a fall color. Bright green is spring and Easter and happy things. And then oh. red is Christmas. So we're only going to use the brown and the orange. Huh. Good. Okay. And then we'll make up some of our own colors after that. So mm -hmm. the first step in this craft, I need a Sharpie marker or something. What are you watching over there? Disney Plus. Oh, okay. I thought you were watching my video. Now oh, you're watching Disney Plus. It's an ad. Oh, you're watching the ads. That's good. Thank you. Okay, here's a Sharpie marker. That's a Christmas video. This is a fall project. All right, so what you want to do first of all, I had this idea the other day. I came up with this all by myself. Mm. You want to take your design and you want to figure out what colors you want different parts of it to be. And then you want to put a number in those parts that are all going to be the same color. So everything on my truck is going to be one color. So I'm going to take all of the different parts of the truck and I'm going to make them the number one, which also just looks like a little slash. That might be a door handle if I turned it the other way. See, now it's a door handle. Are you just making your own paint by numbers? That's a good name for it. I hadn't oh. thought of calling it that, but right. that's a good name for it. Okay. But then since I want the truck to be red, even though it's a Christmas color, we are going to decide to use it now. Oh, look at I'm going to number this one. That's snazzy. And then I'm going to make all of my pumpkins orange. Mm -hmm. What if and the paint doesn't be, cover that up? It's kind of dark. You put more paint on it. You should probably use a pencil. <laughs> Can you just work the camera, please? <laughs> okay, now this thing right here, this thing in the middle, does not look like a pumpkin. It's it a looks, cord. So it shouldn't be orange. No. Should be a different color? Well, gourds can be orange. What color are gourds? White, green, so there's your green that you weren't going to use. But that's bright green. Are they uh, bright green? Do you know how to color mix? Do you know what that is? Yes. Okay. It's when you mix the colors. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so those are going to be two. Okay. I have no idea <laughs> what we're going to do with the brown. Really? Maybe Oh, we could do the little wood parts there on the slat go. right there. Yes, good thinking. That's going to be number three. Mm -hmm. So we're going to number this <laughs> three. And then we could put it on some grass wow. at the bottom. Yes. Which would be number four. That's okay. four. Mm -hmm. Some people do their fours with a little triangle like this so it closes off, but I don't like that. Mm. So that's number four. Mm -hmm. And so we've numbered our colors here and then we've numbered on here and then we're going to paint using those numbers. Mm -hmm. Can you see it okay? There, we'll zoom in so they can... There. No, just hold Can it. Can hold them? Wait, you're... Okay. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, like this? Yes, very nice. Oh, very organized and nice. Yes. Too close. Okay, back off. Okay. Do we put it under the light? So no, no. Can you're good. Okay. okay. That's good enough. Okay. Thank you. So the first problem that we have is that our painting stand is way too low and we're way too high. And so our options are we could get something taller to sit it on or we could get down lower. Or you could raise the table. Oh, I thought it was up already. <laughs> no, it goes higher. Just make sure the light won't catch. The light won't catch? There you go. Yeah. Wow. I know. This it's is like fancy. Schnazzy. It's like being at on an operating table. <laughs> the bright lights and the table that goes up and down. Okay. That's what it's like. Sure. <laughs> just ignore her guys. She's just supposed to be working the camera, but um Okay. So the first thing you want to do <laughs> is open up your colors. Mm -hmm. Ow. 
You're gonna. Do you need help? I'm trying not to splatter stuff everywhere. Oh. Mm. Are they childproof? Lids, probably. They're probably childproof somewhat, so little kids don't just like open No, I'm it. just being extra careful so oh. I don't make a mess in your craft room. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. So, should we go in numerical order? Or should we go in depth order? Since the orange is the furthest behind and we know we're going to paint over the stuff in front of it and that way we can paint over it after it's dry. Mm -hmm. Okay, we should do that. Okay. Uh, there's not actually any orange paint in here. What? And there's no green. What are you talking about? I'm 100% serious. <laughs> They're oh, empty. Great. Um, do there... you have more paint? Yeah, look over Wait. there. Do I have more paint? Vroom. Look right and over brown there. Brown looks like dried chocolate. Over there. The paint is right over there. Okay. Oh, and I, I have more paint over there. Brush. Do you have more brushes? Actually, you know what kind of paint? Hold on, stand still. I know what you want to use. It'll be better for you because those paint bottles are big and you'll probably make a mess. How long do I have to stand still? Um, just for a while. Until I come back with a better paint thing. My knees were partially bent when you told me to stand still and it kind of hurts to stand like this. Ow, I just hurt my finger, but I'm okay. Here, use these. Because then you can just... <laughs> <laughs> you can unstand. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Move the okay, we pick. need orange. Okay. And red. Yeah. Not that red. This red. America. Okay. And brown. Is this brown? Yeah. And what was the other color? Green. Green. You can you want sparkly green? No. Oh. That's bright. Here, this is a good Okay. Yeah, that's like a fall color. That's gourd green. You're just going to stick to those? Okay. That's fine. Oh, is that what this little thing is? The little ice cube tray? Yeah, it's not an ice cube tray. It looks like an ice cube tray. What kind of ice cube would look like that? Little domed circles. <laughs> it's not an ice cube tray. Okay. Brushes? Over there. You can just pick up the whole container if you need to. No, that's a lot. No, it's okay. Whoa, they're all like stiff and... I turned the glue gun on, but if you don't need it, don't burn yourself. I need that later. Okay. Can you clean these? I do, but they sometimes kids borrow them and... Oh, so it's the kid's fault. <laughs> okay. This one has dried stuff on it too. Hmm. Does it work? Shake it like a Polaroid picture and it works because listen to it. You can hear it. You Damn. always want to shake paint before you use it because sometimes the pigments separate and squirt some out. There you go. Good job. Very nice. You're like almost a professional. This one's not going shake, shake, shake. That's a. Does that say Arteza on the front? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's because it's a. It's a thicker paint. <clears throat> that's gonna. Yeah. This can come out real thick. Why is it a thicker paint? <laughs> because it's a paint that you can also use on stuff. It has a built-in sealer in it. So you'll have. It'll have a little bit of a sheen to it. Your pumpkins will be oh, a little I shiny. You meant like it had little things in it to go or, or, or. No, I didn't say seals. I said sealer, not seals. Brown. Mm -hmm. Looks like liquid chocolate, like we're going to do chocolate fondue. Yeah. But don't eat paint. It's no. bad. Don't eat paint. For all y'all at home. Whoa, you didn't shake it. That's why we shake it. I was just showing y'all what not to do. Yeah, show them what happens when you don't shake it. The pigment. It looks like out. olive oil. Nasty. Okay. Oh, sorry. 
Mess up. Trying to make a craft here. Okay. Oh, bubbles. We're blowing bubbles and then we're filling <laughs> the bubbles with things. What are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I think this paint's got some problems. <laughs> maybe maybe we shouldn't use that one. No, we should it's use fine. this okay. over here. Okay. That's better. It just had some dry clumps in the beginning. That looks like the green version of the chocolate ice cream emoji on iPhone. Oh gosh, I was about to say it looks like a liquid Grinch. Okay. Like if you melt it. So we're gonna start with the orange. Mm -hmm. And since it's in a swirl, you wanna move your brush in a swirling pattern so that you don't mess up the swirl of the paint. Uh -huh. And this is very thick. I told you that. <laughs> Let's zoom in and see what's happening here. You're doing a good job staying in the lines. But I didn't number these, so... You didn't number the gourd. You never decided what to do with the gourd. It doesn't have a number. Is we're going to get real fancy and be advanced, oh. and we're going to paint the stem a different color. Whoa. That's snazzy. You're pretty good at painting. I know. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I don't know. Something in your video that's playing in the background? I, yeah, I'm laughing at it because <laughs> it's funny. Okay, you got to get the extra thick parts off so you don't waste paint. So you just kind of scrape it off of there. Mm -hmm. You can still see the two on your pumpkin. Well, this is just the first coat. Oh. Okay. Or it could mean that they're being sold for two dollars. But then it wouldn't be at the Dollar Tree because you just said everything <laughs> there is a dollar. Yeah, Unless it's the Dollar Tree Plus. <laughs> That's right. The they sell pumpkins for two dollars at Dollar Tree Plus. Yeah. They're like the 99 cent store. Is everything 99 cents at the 99 cent store? No. Full disclosure, I've never actually been to a dollar. Is Piper still outside? I told Sam to bring her in. I hear her barking. Is she barking for hope? I will check. You keep up the good work. Okay. All right. So. You need me to flip the since screen up so you can see. I'm her. trying to talk to the people. I'm sorry. Well, I want you to be able to see if you're in shot or not. Okay, Here. people. You can see yourself now. I don't need to see myself. I know I'm good. I'll be right back. Damn. Okay, so the paint was in a swirl down here. We're getting it onto our brush using a swirling motion, and sometimes you want to paint using a swirling motion as well. It's a another advanced technique that Courtney doesn't know anything about. Um I can say that because she's not in here right now. I don't want to make her feel bad, but don't tell her that I said that there's paint techniques that she doesn't know about. Okay, so we got all of our twos done. Why'd you stop it? I didn't. It has a time limit. But it shouldn't. That's got to be a setting or something. Is it going again? Yeah. Okay, so Courtney stopped the video. I did not. I don't even in here. You got to see that we got all of the twos painted. They look nice. I know. I'm good. Hmm. Now, go wash the brush. What? Okay. <clears throat> you should have an assistant whenever you're crafting to do things like wash your brushes because once you get started, you don't want to stop. Because when you're in the zone and you got those creative juices flowing, you know, I mean, I know what I'm doing right now, but I might lose some of my, my vision for this project if I were to stop in the middle of it for silly things like washing out a brush. So make sure that you have a production assistant with you whenever you're crafting. 
I don't have a production assistant. You do have a production assistant. What? You make me stand here the whole time you craft do and do not. whatever you say. I do not. Prove it. I have it on film asking why are you back in here. No, why do you... People... Do you know why she always voices her videos over and it's not live audio? Because otherwise you'd hear me in the background the whole time telling her what she needs to do next. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Mm. You're full of baloney. So if you get a little spot where like some of the red comes over onto the black tire, that's just because the truck was in an accident and it's got some body damage that hasn't been fixed yet. Uh -huh. Is this your video or mine? Do I still need to stand here? Yeah, I'm going to need more stuff. Uh -huh. You make me stand there the whole time you crap. I do not. You do not. You're not welcome These people here, only knew... How bad I need a lock on my door. Most of the ideas mm -hmm. actually mine. Yeah. They all saw my hand turkey. Mm. Maybe they didn't know. Your hand turkey was from a while ago. We need to bust that out. It is fall after all. Are we going to have another family Thanksgiving crafting contest? <laughs> yeah. Maybe. We'll have to... Maybe. They can tell us if they want us to do that. How would they tell us? Do they have your phone number? No. <laughs> they can comment down below if you would like a gun family craft off. <clears throat> that just wouldn't be fair though. I mean, the kids are going to feel bad when I win. Uh-huh. And then they can vote. Or... Everybody should vote in November. Maybe we should make the crafts, then put them up, but don't say who made what, and then they vote. And okay. then, after they vote, we can show them how it all went down. Could we set it up that they vote when they vote in the national elections in November? I don't know. Put it on the ballot? Let us know down below. How do y'all want us to do it? Do you want to watch us craft off, and then vote, or do you want to vote first, and then see how it all folded? Folded? How it all played out. I mean, not folded. That's what you're going to be doing. Folding. I also write the scripts for Courtney's voiceovers, <laughs> which is why she doesn't sound like this when you watch her regular videos. I need it sounds to. all neat and polished. No, it doesn't. It's because I wrote it. No. <laughs> no, sir. This is, there's like a lot of red on this. Yeah. I like how you're taking your time. I am taking my time. I know. It's very nice. That you're taking it seriously and not just... I take everything seriously. Kindergarten painting. Babe, I'm a semi-professional crafter. I don't think so. Why are you so mean to me? I'm not. I'm just telling you the truth. The truth hurts. Now, when you're using a wider brush like this, if you push down on it... Here, let me show you. Mm. It's hard to cover a big area all at once, but when you lay it down, if you push on it, it makes the brush go wider and you can paint a wider section all at one time. Another advanced tip and trick. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Are you going to send this to a viewer? And sign the back? <laughs> I mean... I... I don't normally sell my work. <laughs> well, I think it'd only be fair to give it away for free. No, a lot of times what happens is it'll be worth a lot more when I'm dead. Uh, so what I would do is leave it as a part of my estate. Because <laughs> the kids could probably retire off of selling my art. <laughs> Yeah, all two pieces of it. Your turkey and this. Babe. <laughs> what? A lot of my stuff is done under a pseudonym. Oh, what is it? What if people want to buy your art? You don't sell it? I told you, we're leaving it all for the kids. Oh, See, that's a terrible this is a thing bad design. Leave. The inside of the wheel well is supposed to be the same color. 
We're just going to, so this part, you know how sometimes Courtney does Whoa. stuff kind of rough. I'll show you why. What? You killed the tire. No, we're going to craft over this in a oh, minute. Oh, gosh. Okay. Brush. Mm -hmm. This one's still wet. I can't use that one again, so we'll get another one. Mm -hmm. Now, this one is extra long. And this is so, I can't really, are you yeah. getting all of this? No, <laughs> look at yourself. <laughs> this is, where is it? <laughs> the, the screen's upside down. Hold on, okay, go down, stay down. Okay, hold on, I'll get it. There, stay right there, okay. So this is so when, is that like a like, Harry Potter? you want to get away, <laughs> yes. You go, It's a splatter paint brush. <laughs> That's called splatter painting. When you go, pshh. No, that's when you like fling paint off. That's I'm, what you just did. No, 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 no. I'm trying to find the perfect spot and then going in and <laughs> oh, painting what? it. Okay. It's precision painting. That sounds ridiculous. It's like sniping, but with a paintbrush. Which, it's not like sniping at all. Okay. What are you talking about? So now we got some of this weird Yoda green color. Just call it, it's Grinch green. No, I think the Grinch is much darker it's actual than this. Name, this is Yoda. This is actual clover is the name of it by Folk Art. Actual Platt. clover is the name of it? No, it's clover. Why'd you call it actual clover? <laughs> it's actually clover. This brush is horrible. That's not the right kind of brush to use. That's like for dry brushing. See how the, the bristles are... Dry? Yeah, that's a dry brushing brush. You're doing a good job working with what you have. Because you don't have the right stuff for me. Why did you pick from the large basket of paintbrush? The other side is the smaller brushes. That's the worst gourd ever. <laughs> oh look, red and green. Okay, now That's we need a precision tip for the brown. Mm. That's your precision tip. <laughs> it's very skinny when That's you hold it this way. That's not a precision tip. That's huge. <laughs> uh, okay. That's great. You guys at home <laughs> probably... <laughs> I'm trying to shoot a video here. That is not a precision tip brush. Take it back and don't call it that. I, am I in? I can't. Yeah, you're in shot. I'm watching. I'm going to zoom in on your precision tip here. For those of y'all that don't know, in shot is like a technical industry term. Courtney thinks that she's very special and what? she's it's in not... the movies and so she's using movie oh terminology. I'm not using movie terminology. That's just a common sense thing. You're doing a great job. It's, I wasn't using my stand, which oh, is part of the yeah. problem. You're not using your easel. Okay. So you need to raise the table up some more? It'll go higher. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> now you want to do all of the horizontal pieces first. Why? Because look, see, this crosses over the top. The mm -hmm. vertical piece crosses over the top of the horizontal piece. Mm -hmm. So if you paint it second, mm -hmm. separately, mm -hmm. it'll give it that depth that shows mm -hmm. that going over the top of it. Gotcha. Surprised you didn't know that. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put some more of the chocolate wood. I think that's the name of this color. It's not chocolate wood. I'm going to tell you the name of it. It's dark brown <laughs> is the name of the color. But people on the inside call it chocolate wood. Okay. And then, since we have our precision tip, oh my gosh. we're going to do oh. okay. the stems. Mm -hmm. And we can get that one covered all over. See how precise that is? <laughs> yeah. That's one word for it. Okay. 
You know, you could teach after school art classes. Now, just using the numbers and paints mm -hmm. would not be a true craft. Yeah. Um, as you guys know from watching Courtney's videos, you have to use a glue gun if it's going to be a true oh, craft. Dear. What? Nothing. What did you, you said you had what black you cotton need? balls. No, I said I had cotton balls. I said I don't know if I have. I have black, but they're huge. <laughs> they're. <laughs> I have that. Okay. I have this big black ball. All right. So since we only have white ones oh, in this size. Cleaner. Hold on. Maybe I have. A no, one. I got this. Wait, look, I have pipe cleaners. You can make wheels out of black pipe cleaners. Look, we're going to take our white cotton ball. No, this we're gonna is better. We're going to color it look, with it'll, a Sharpie. It'll even look like tire treads. Look. But what's going to go in the middle? The white part? That could be a hubcap. Well, it has to be dirty you because can... <laughs> you get brake dust all over it. So we're going to make it, we're going to put the brake dust on the So you're making a 3D, rim. you're making a 3D element here? Well, I already did several 3D elements because I painted vertically <coughs> and horizontally oh. to show that depth. Sure. So first you get your brake dust all over your rims because mm -hmm. it hasn't been washed in a while because you don't wash old trucks like this. Mm. Okay. And then we're going to take the pipe cleaner. Mm -hmm. We're going to make it the right size. Yeah. So if you need to make something the right size, you take something that's the right size mm. and you wrap it around it. Yeah. That's nice. And then you gotta hold it there until it takes that shape. How many times are you gonna wrap it around there? Just once? Maybe. Oh. <laughs> it didn't take the shape. You need to redo that. No, you just gotta wind it around. Oh. Kind of like when you're splicing wire together. You want to watch out for the end because it's pointy. What do you do with it? Do you have like Scissors? bolt cutters or something? Scissors? It's metal in the middle. Okay, would you like my tin snips? I don't know. These are very I'd sharp. I'd like some bolt cutters, but don't hurt yourself. you don't have real tools. What? Here, you can use my tin snips. Just Perfect. don't hurt yourself. These are real tools. I know they are. This is much better. Look at that. Schnazzy. Now again, there's a sharp metal piece stuck <coughs> in there. So push that in so that when like little kids are playing with your crafts, they don't like jab it into their fingers. I don't think little kids play with the crafts. Which one's hot? Whichever one you took. That one with the long tail sticking out. Okay. So we want to take... You're in this. Oh, mm. it's cordless. Yes. Sure bonder, best glue guns on the planet. <laughs> you don't have to hold Do it. You squeeze? Eight. Yeah, but you don't have to hold it up that high. Or it catches <laughs> on fire. It's not going to catch on fire. And you want to go in a circle because this thing is a circle that we're sticking it onto, as is our little crafty piece here. Pretty sure that doesn't really matter. And then you want to stick it on there, like that. <laughs> what are you so, laughing at? It's very pretty. I like it. I'm sure <laughs> all of y'all at home in Equatorial Guinea and Montenegro appreciate me. Mm-hmm. If uh, you're from some country other than the United States that I did not mention today, I apologize. If you want to comment down below, I will be sure and shout out your home country in the next video. Or city. You can do a city if you want. Yeah, Courtney still has not done any Arizona themed crafts. <laughs> I would like all of y'all in Arizona to know that I have tried repeatedly to get her to do that. But she apparently is anti-cactus. <laughs> That's not the only thing Arizona has. The Grand Canyon, that would be difficult to craft. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. You'd just have to wait a really long time for it to be done. Well, that's like most of your crafts. <laughs> Shut up.
just so y'all know. Oh my gosh. She has already started on Valentine's no, and I Easter have not. for next year. <laughs> you're lying. Because it's going to take her like eight months oh, to get those done. You're lying. And then you kind of want to squish down on these a little bit and just hold them in place. Plus it makes the rims look a little dirtier. What? No. I'm just making sure it doesn't cut off on us. She keeps oh. turning the video off. I did, not. I did a lot of important stuff while I, the video was not. shut off there. You were pushing it down. I wanted to make right, sure. It we got to even up our brake dust on this one a little bit. <laughs> Are you going to paint a man in the window? No. Oh. But now that it's a little dry, if there's parts that you can't see. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You can still see the twos. But the door. Oh. Like, you know, it's hard to tell that there's a door there. What? And so sometimes oh. you gotta just, you just gotta come back in. With the Sharpie. Let me zoom in on here. My hand's kind of shaky because this is a weird angle. Yeah. You could lay it flat, you know, and but, not do it on the easel. Why did they put a stand in with it if you weren't supposed to use it? That's for professionals. Obviously not, because I'm having trouble with it. <laughs> oh, that's nice. And then it needs a door handle, because that's the only way you can get into a truck. Mm. And then the line under the window. Mm -hmm. Like that. That's very nice. Are you not yes. going to detail the rest of it? Or just add them? Well, they get the idea. Ah, they can go in and do that right. part themselves. So just like when you do, like, we'll just cut. Like, we'll snap our fingers and then she'll have it all finished and go, here we go. You didn't want to watch me draw that. all of that. Because what she, she's got a professional artist. I do not do that. Who lives in a spare room here in the house. <laughs> I and wish. she has them go in and like, she says, so what you want to do is do this, but I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing. And then she comes back and it's done. Uh -huh. She gave it to... Marilyn, who mm -hmm. lives in the spare room, in the closet under the stairs. We don't have a closet under the stairs. Oh wait, yeah we do. It's my closet. Okay. I knew Marilyn lived somewhere. <laughs> um, okay. So, this is our craft. You didn't do the green. What happened with that? You put a four there. Um, this truck's on an asphalt road. <laughs> So what's this going to be right there? This is the asphalt oh. that is driving around. Oh, on. no. <laughs> you got to... Looks like he has an oil leak. I mean, they <laughs> they get it at home. You could color this in, but they don't want to sit here and watch me color this Looks in. Looks like it's hooked up to a heart monitor. That's the asphalt. That's the road that the truck is driving on. <laughs> okay. I'm not putting a person in it because it's not driving right now. He's, he broke down on the side of the asphalt well, road. Well, no wonder. Look at his tires. And he was taking pumpkins out because it was too heavy to put the jack underneath it and jack it up to change out the wheel. Mm. So the best part about this is right now this is a fall craft. Yeah. Why do you keep talking? It I'm is. trying to explain this to the people at home. But when it comes time for Christmas and we want to make this a Christmas craft, we can do that, right? You just paint over the pumpkins in the back and then you can do one of two things. If you want to make it more 3D, you can take Ooh. little Christmas trees. They're stuck together. <clears throat> and you can put little Christmas trees in the back. Like, ooh, I just went to the Christmas tree farm and I'm hauling my Christmas tree home for my wife to decorate. And it's still got snow on it. And so then you can take white paint. You can put a little snow on the truck too. On the ground underneath it. But you got to paint over the pumpkins first. Because huh. you don't have pumpkins and Christmas stuff. Yeah. So it's like a seasonal craft. That you can change from one season Mul to the next. Multi-seasonal. Right. And then when it comes time for like spring. You can take the Christmas trees off. You use, um, you use that uh, Goo Gone stuff. On glitter. And... It, since that's kind of sparkly, it'll take those right off if you put goo gone on them. And then you could put like carrots in the back or something else for spring. Except that you don't actually harvest carrots in the spring, you just plant them. So I don't know. With something else, you could put Easter eggs in the back of it. You could t Do you have Easter eggs? No. Wrong season right now. It's packed away. Okay. Well, you get the idea, but you could take like... You'd have to get small ones though, because the truck's not that big. So you don't want like the normal size Easter eggs. You want like smaller ones and put it in there. 
and then you it's pretty much what Courtney does. You take a red truck and you put different stuff in the back of it for different seasons. I don't do that at all. None of our decor is that. The only time I have red trucks is at Christmas. I don't use it year-round. Right, but now we're starting to. <laughs> Where are you going to put that? I thought you were going to give that to a viewer. No, I told you we're oh, going to save it. And it's right. good, it's going to go into, we're going to establish a family trust. Okay. We don't and all of my artwork that. is okay. going to be yeah. in care of the trust mm -hmm. so that the children can inherit it someday. Yeah, so let me zoom in on this masterpiece of beautiful... Don't I have to like put my face on the video too? Oh sure. Oh, there's oh, there's your beard. I I brushed my beard and, and your got face. it all combed I'm out. A little camera difficulties. Hold on. You're horrible. At I'm this. sorry. The mouse is. I mean the, the mouse. <laughs> okay, hold on. Now you can put your face next to it. I had to zoom out. The artist with his picture. Oh, there it is. Oh yes. Sometimes you don't want to look right at the. Are you? Can you see me in this very well? Well, like, hold on, I can turn it this way. Sometimes you don't there want to look go. directly at the camera. Yeah. You want to look off into the distance. That Oh, like yeah, that's a perfect shot. It. Or like you're looking at your craft. Yeah, that's going to be the thumbnail shot right there. And sometimes you, you want to explain it. And so you're pointing at things. Yeah. <laughs> what are you... Can you just shoot the video? <laughs> I'm like, shooting it. You're like the peanut gallery I back here, except... I didn't want to be in here. You, don't you like made me. peanuts. You like almonds and pistachios. <laughs> Nobody likes almonds because they still have the brown stuff on the outside of them. So okay. Gee. Are you focused now? Is that the end of your craft? Yes. Okay. Did, is there supposed to be more? No. Oh, and then so we how would you, How would you style that? Like, what would you put with it? You stage it. Oh. See, here. Okay. Now can I could be the camera person and do this right. Take the camera off. I'm going to wash these brushes. So you put it on a... How do I zoom? The little button on the top. The button on the top. Uh... Okay, I... That's not doing anything. Oh. There we go. Yay! And there is my craft.